What's good? What's good? Let's discuss. Cameron explains no snitching. Check this video. <laughs> from his lyrics about life in the mean streets of Harlem. And a big part of his hip-hop culture is keeping your mouth shut when the cops come around. He told CNN's Anderson Cooper on 60 Minutes why he'd rather be silent than a snitch. You were shot in both arms? Yes. And you have nerve damage in one of them? Yes. Does it still hurt? Oh, yeah, it definitely feels like my hand is numb. It's in the ice box all day. If you had seen who shot you, mm -hmm. would you have told police? No. Why? because the type of business I'm in, it would definitely hurt my business. And the way that I was raised, I just don't do that. I was raised differently, not to tell. A lot of people, though, hearing that are going to say that that's not a good thing. The people that say it's not a good thing are most likely the people that don't buy my records. You know what I'm saying? The people that buy my records kind of understand where I'm coming from. I have a fan base of 500,000 people, which means every time my album comes out, I sell 500,000 on a good day, on a bad day. On a great day, I sell two million records. So basically, the people who would say that that isn't a good thing, I don't think those are the same people that buy my album. The people that buy my music will understand why I'm saying what I'm saying. So for you, it's, it's really about business? It's about business, but it's still also a code of ethics. Like I said, I'm raised from where <laughs> you wasn't code of raised to tell. You wasn't <laughs> brought up to say, hey, this guy did that. This guy did that. It's kind of like... Dude, don't know gangster nigga in the streets got code of ethics. It's cutthroat niggas backdoor each other. Facts, man. This nigga on some bullshit right here. <laughs> Not saying go do something bad to the person who did something to you, but it's kind of policing your own community. If there is a serial killer living next door to you, though, and you know that person is, you know, killing people, would you be a snitch if you <laughs> called police and told them? If I knew the serial killer was living next door to me? Yeah. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't <laughs> call and tell anybody on them, but I'd probably move. Like, I'm not going to be around because... I don't need to be living around serial killers, but I'm not gonna call and be like, oh, put the shit. signs up, like, yo, you know, the serial killers in 4E. It's not your responsibility. Exactly. Is there any situation where you think it's okay to talk to the police? Yeah, definitely. Say hello, how you feel, <laughs> everything all right, period. Do you worry about the, the, the oh, message that shit. a kid listening to your music is getting? Oh, no, I wouldn't, because basically it's parental, advisory on all music if you're not 18 you have a parental advisory on there and parents they don't sell it to you if you're not over 18 without it <laughs> so if you let your child pick the music up that's more a responsibility of a parent but the truth is it, it's not really your concern the ramifications of this i mean that if if no one comes forward the murder rates no one will get convicted of crimes or, or fewer fewer murderers will get caught that it doesn't really matter to you because this code is more important much so, definitely. Living by this code, maintaining street credibility, that's more important. Definitely. Man, that shit was funny as hell. These street niggas do not have no codes, no morals, no values. He was full of shit right here. I wonder how who he answered that question today. It's like in business, you just pull rules that's going to fit this certain situation. In the streets, niggas backdoor each other every day. Niggas lie. That's part of the game. Niggas ain't shit in the streets. Niggas will kill like all oh, homies over a fucking bitch. Ain't no rules or morals in that street game. So for these niggas or for these people that think it is, Shut the fuck up. You killing me with that. He snitched on the guys. Man, fuck them niggas. It's me. I got to take care of my family. That's the bro. Man, that ain't your fucking bro. You, you, you don't even know this nigga. All these bloggers with that snow, no snitching bullshit, man. Shut the fuck up. Y'all killing me with that. Let me know what you think, man. I'm out of here.